It is the small screen version of an attempt at a summer blockbuster, a 13-week CBS miniseries starting tonight based on Stephen King's Under the Dome. We caught up with Maine's most well-known author at the red carpet screening in North Carolina. Right. Yeah. Oh, thank you. It's great to see you. Had to come down here to find lay your faces. Yeah. We weren't the only ones, of course. The premiere of Under the Dome has caught the attention of media nationwide, not only because it's a King project, but a Steven Spielberg project. With some of the most well-known writers and producers on board, it's definitely taking CBS out of the box. You know, I wasn't sure when we, I first wrote the script and that we've got cows getting cut in half. It's not the kind of thing you normally see on CBS, the Tiffany network, and yet they've been so supportive of it. The story itself is set in the fictional town of Chester's Mill, Maine, and filmed here at what's known as the Hollywood of the East, Screen Gem Studios in Wilmington. King says he would love to someday film in Maine, but it's going to take the kind of commitment Wilmington has made. And that's something that the state of Maine is going to have to work on if they're really committed to the idea of having a film and TV community in Maine, which should happen. Uh, then we're going to have to build it up one step at a time. And there have been several little baby steps in that direction, but so far it hasn't been a full-fledged commitment, and I look forward to that happening. There are 10 sound stages set on 50 acres at Screen Gems. Under the Dome has two of them. It's not often you get to go behind the scenes of a TV show. This here served as the bunker on the set of Under the Dome. A lot of drama takes place right here. <laughs> And it may not be what you expect if you've read the book, but it all has the Stephen King stamp of approval. And from our very first phone call, he said, you know, I, I like your voice, I trust your voice, so as Elvis said, it's your baby, you rock it now. I'm delighted that it's finally here and it seems like uh, just an amazing road and now there are all these people here and we cross our fingers and hope that everybody will come to CBS to watch it and enjoy the summer and that they'll look forward to it coming back. Just one more thing, Mr. King, about that CBS 13 helicopter that crashes in the book. Well, I thought to myself, the reason that I did that was because the I logo is so recognizable. So it had to be, it had to be CBS affiliate, and the only one in Chester's Mill would be WGME. So it is kind of a shout out, even if it doesn't end so well, John. <laughs> Under the Dome, by the way, airs tonight on CBS 13 at 10 o'clock. And we are so excited about this one. And Kim has actually already seen the first episode. So what'd you think? They screened episode one. I still have chills thinking about it. It's spellbinding. I think it's going to be great. A lot of twists and turns from what I hear, though. So. All right. We'll be looking so forward good. to that one.